I personally never had no issues with Vlad, right? Mm-hmm. But I think Adam posted, yo, I'm about to interview Vlad. Can somebody, you know, like, what should I ask him? And I asked him, yo, like, can you, you know, ask him, you know, to apologize to the minister mm-hmm. for lying on him? Correct. Which he did. And since then, I guess I'm public enemy to Vlad now. <laughs> right? <laughs> Vlad, Vlad f- hates me now, right? He's going to hate you even more yeah. after this. Did uh, he talk <laughs> about you on the academics <laughs> podcast? No, 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 no. Oh. No, 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 no. He's going to hate you. No. He but, so, yeah, going to hate that oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So, well, could you just please break down what... Why mm-hmm. is Vlad a culture vulture and a mm-hmm. devil? And then also just speak on exactly what what he did to the minister. Sure. And why that was just so out of bounds. Absolutely. Well, the first thing is, to Vlad, you already know. This is why you haven't brought me on. Don't invite me. Make this very clear to you. Until or unless you apologize for lying on the honorable minister was Farrakhan, taking out of context a specific phrase he said in the July 4th, 2020 address called the criterion when the minister was saying that those who are evil and wicked individuals going under different labels, Muslim, Christian, Jew, etc. He said we must hurl the stone of truth at falsehood until we knock out its brain. It's a metaphor. Hurl truth at falsehood until we knock out his brain. What he then said when he was interviewing D.L. Hughley. You as well, Mr. Hughley. Do not invite me on. You already know. Unless and or until you apologize. What he said was Minister Farrakhan said to hurl a stone at Jews. Okay, now, let me just say this. That's effeminate as hell. Okay, that's a female dog way of behaving right there. Let me just say that as as a man. You're talking about a man who was 88, an elder. You don't have to agree with everything. You say, that's fine. That's fine. But you don't have to lie on somebody. That's that's kind of uh, you 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 you're soft. There's something wrong with you. That's what any one of us who get up here lying on somebody, especially an elder who is fighting for the freedom of the people, black, white, whatever you want to call it, but knock that off. So when he did that, that's when I went off on him. And then that's when you saw West Coast Cam said I'm not going on. That's when you saw Godfrey comedian say I'm never I'm never going back on. That's when you saw. Uh, Lord Jamar say, I'm never going back on Vlad. Because oh, so it's, you kind of started that whole thing? I don't know if I started it, but I do know I was one of the first people who went, on, went out there and said that. Because, it, again, we have to respect. You may not respect our elders or our leadership. Fine. I do. And we all should be like that. Because if people can openly disrespect our elders, sure, everybody disrespects people to a degree. I get that. But no, 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 no. There is a limit that we must make it very clear. This is an area that you will not cross right here. Pay respect, have respect. Even if you respectfully disagree, that's fine. Just do it respectfully. And once he was approached with that and we we got to him, he knew he issued an apology, but it wasn't really an apology. It was, oh, a technical difficulty. Like, yeah. okay, hold on now. No, <laughs> no, no, sir. You lied on this man. Mm-hmm. And you took his words completely out of context. Apologize. But when you have people who, frankly, white folks for the majority, but I do know a lot of white people who will apologize. But this one in particular, who is an atheist, but he's a Jew when it's convenient, Mm. all of a sudden, you not only don't feel that it's proper, but that it's even beneath you to apologize to Farrakhan. Listen, uh, Mr. Vladislav, you should be very humble, and we all should. Just make it right. Simple as that. If you lie on someone, make it right. It's just that simple. But until then, like I said, don't invite me. And he's had members of the Nation of Islam on there. But he specifically hasn't invited me, especially after that. I said, no, I don't want you to invite me. I'm not interested. I don't care about fame. I don't care about the views. Don't invite me on until and or unless you apologize to the Honorable Mr. Farrakhan. Now, you know, you even spoke on being militant, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when I think about militant, especially... (laughs) Especially <laughs> in 2022, yeah. I think about poor white folks. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For example, militias, militias, yeah. Mm-hmm. The Trumpers, mm-hmm. they said, yo, if you think Trump is going to get impeached, my AK 47 tells me different. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of videos like that. Oh, it was a lot of them. Yeah, right? It was a lot of them. <laughs> Why do you think, as black folks, I don't see that same mindset with us? Mm. Especially when it comes to people like the minister. Mm-hmm. Do you think as black folks, we've been metaphorically beaten into submission to where we don't even mm. think like that no more? Because, for example, if let's say um, if let's say somebody said that about Trump, Ooh. dumb boys is going 
That's so, a fact. So wherever that man that at. That is a fact. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. We appreciate y'all.